Evergreen is tucked back in a little neighborhood here in Brooklyn Center. It is just a gem in this neighborhood. Like many schools in Minnesota. We're looking for critters in the water. Why is it good to know? The start of the 2020 school year has been out of the ordinary for Evergreen Park Elementary. We're learning as we go and trying to adapt and change and meet our family's needs as we go also. The school is currently in a hybrid model with many families opting for full-time distance learning, which means that from Tuesday through Friday, there's only about 100 students in the building. We're doing the social distancing, we have our masks, the kids have been amazing in learning the new routines to make sure that everybody stays safe, and they seem to really understand the purpose of why we are doing all of that, so they're helping us all out. Yet the pandemic isn't the only reason why this school year is a little different here. After two years of planning, the school underwent a transformation. Instead of being a world culture school, Evergreen Park is now a STEM school of innovation. I think what people will start to see in the future is that um, there's a lot more hands-on learning, a lot more excitement for the kids um, around just the, the thinking processes that they can use. It's not only tied into our science and our math and our technology, but we're tying it into our reading and into our social studies. When the school board initially approved the switch two years ago, Nobody knew that the launch would coincide with a global pandemic. So 2020 is acting as a soft rollout for the science, technology, engineering, and math focus. We all are in this together and doing the best we can, and they are doing some really amazing work to persevere through the challenges that, and the barriers that have come. And taking a look at, we are still providing really amazing things for our kids. It just might be in a different format than we'd like. For example, students at each grade level have their own specific focus. The fifth graders are innovators. So one activity they'll do involves taking a box and turning it into something new. The students in distance learning, however, just have to use the resources available to them at home. They were encouraged to find the cereal box or find a box you might have gotten from a package you received and then use materials at home in order to create something new and different. What are some of the things that we've been doing for science? The classes will look different and more hands-on whenever they're able to get all students back in the building. But for now, they're working to perfect a curriculum that will benefit students for years to come. Our kids deserve it. Our kids deserve this opportunity to have these other um, pieces that come into them and support their learning. Um, and it's exciting for them. In Brooklyn Center, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.